Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Two Brothers Coffee Co. And in particular, we're gonna talk about their Brew House Dark. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the bag, then I'm gonna take a closer look at those beans. After that, I'm gonna throw those bad boys over to the burr grinder and break those things down. Perfect for, you got it, the pour over. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee. And this one, it should be a winner, but this video is not like a normal coffee review video. We are gonna be doing a double coffee review. Yes, people, I will also be throwing these beans over to my super automatic and breaking them down and making a hot cup of coffee for the second bonus sip test, which will all be inside of this video. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So right off the bat, you can see that this is on was on sale and that is why I bought it. I am going to attempt to remove this sticker, but there is no guarantee we'll be able to see their logo. So bear with me, people. I'm going to pull this off like a standard consumer and just hope for the best. Oh, wow. Ooh, good job, Meyer. Last time I tried that, it did not come off at all. And it may be because this bag is so nice. This coffee is typically a little bit too expensive and I tend to skip over it. All right, let's get into this, people. Once again, we have up at the top an artisanal roasting. That is what's up, people. This is from Warrenville, Illinois. Two Brothers Coffee Roasters. What do we got going over here? Oh, this is a biodegradable bag. What? Are you seeing this, people? That is the first I've ever seen an actual coffee bag being biodegradable. I'm going to throw this in my compost for sure. So this is the Brew House Dark, Dark Roast. That is what's up, people. I am a huge proponent of Dark Roast coffee. Oh, this is cool right here. Our flagship Dark Roast, a robust, robust? A robust, earthy, take no prisoners coffee that still finds room to offer plenty of dark chocolate and spice notes combined with a subtle sweetness. Did they make this for me? <laughs> I cannot believe that. If that tastes like they say, then I will be in dark roast heaven, people. Woo! All right, this is a 12 ounce bag. Take a look over here. <laughs> what? That is hilarious. I love these people. I do. Look at that. That's how I would do it. You did just uh, very simple, straight to the point, no artwork, and that's exactly how I brew. Wow, very simple, very cool. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they already had pinched the bag closed. Huh, to keep that, whoa. So this was closing over the one-way valve. Wow, very interesting. All right, so we got a little bit more about this company right here. All right. Oh, December 2012, wow, cool. Well, welcome to the coffee game. All right, nice. Okay, so this was roasted uh, not too long ago. It's That's not terrible. Oh, we're over our date. That's why I was on sale. Hopefully it still tastes good. <laughs> All right, very simple. I like that a lot. Ooh, they have a quick tear. This is a great bag. Big thumbs up to you guys, two brothers. Um, very, very happy with this bag. Very simple, uh, yet handsome looking bag. They go the extra mile, and that means they're probably gonna go the extra mile when they roast and when they deal with their coffee. So that is very cool. All right. Let's get into these beans. Woo! I am excited. All right, dark roast. We should be seeing a lot of oil. All right. Holy but Jesus, that smell is absolutely amazing. Once again, the need for smell o vision is growing on this channel. I may be the first YouTuber to have smell o vision someday. Wow absolutely let me turn the flashlight on what am i doing there we go Woo! those are beautiful beans and if you've ever been to any sort of like specialty coffee shop maybe coffee and cigar shop this smells like luxurious premium heaven right here like this is wow that is absolutely amazing 
very, very artisan, very, very beautiful. These are well-crafted beans right here. And the aroma is just, <laughs> it's, it's intoxicating. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. All right, coming up, we're gonna throw these beans over to the burr grinder and see how they break down. All right, let's get into the brew test, people. So this is my Phillips Super Automatic. If you don't know what this machine is, it is absolutely amazing. I love it to death. Um, I put it in black and white just because it's kind of hard to film this thing. But don't worry, there will be color coming in soon. Okay, so I'm doing a double shot of coffee right there. The coffee to water ratio is three lights to one. Um, if you don't know what that is, I don't know how to tell you any more than that. Um, this thing has a burr grinder built into it. It will grind up the beans, put them in a nice little puck, and then pour the hot water in. All right. Here we go, people. Dun, 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 So what we're looking for is a rich stream with a nice topping of crema. Oh, look at that color. All right. So because this machine uses a little bit of pressure, it's going to make it more frothy and give that crema-like appearance. Very reminiscent of a espresso shot. All right, that is a beautiful color right there. That is exactly what you want to see. Wow, look at that. Not a lot of crema, but just enough. It is a cup of coffee after all. It's not an espresso shot right there. All right, and I will be giving it a second shot on top, just FYI. All right, let's go ahead and take a stroll to my office traveling through my living room oh avoid the toys avoid the toys don't die don't die oh ah sometimes you step on a car and you feel like your foot's gonna fall off all right what are those levi's doing there okay so you want to drink your coffee between 130 and 140 for optimal sip test i recommend 132 try this at home and enjoy a cup of coffee like never before guarantee you. Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, let's get into this sip test, people. Woo, this coffee looks absolutely delicious. Woo, that aroma is very, very nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is like several different layers of bitter right there. Holy bejesus, people. Woo! That is completely different than anything I've ever had before. Mm. Wow. That is wild. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let's get into it. So the first hit that you get is very bitter and then it goes into like this citrusy bitter citrusy and then you have this smoky sort of oily aroma that's flowing 
through the mouth. Wow, that is incredible. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely off-putting. <laughs> it is definitely an off-putting. Oh, wow. That is very, very strange. It's a very off-putting, very strong, very harsh cup of coffee. Um, definitely something that would be good if you're going to add your cream and sugar. Um, and all the other stuff you add to it because it's such a powerful coffee taste. So if you're someone out there that likes a bitter, punchy, dark roast, this is the one right here. It doesn't really have any sweet notes at all. Um, it has like an earthy, smoky, bitter, and that's about it. It is very strong. Wow, but it's definitely growing on me. It's one. <laughs> It's one of those coffees that is getting better as I drink it, and I feel like it can be something that you're gonna come back to because it's so bitter and harsh and unique. It, it, it makes you want a little bit more. It's kind of like trying to not watch a car wreck, but you just can't help yourself. You're like, I have to see what's going on over there. Mm. It's, yeah. It's getting better, it's growing on me, it's starting to get a little bit more like nutty, a little bit more earthy. It has that oil to it that you like, but it also has that bitter, punchy, like, this is coffee, don't mistake it for anything else, flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna give it a 4.1 star rating, I'm gonna say that it doesn't have that like sweet dark roast flavor that I typically go for. Of course, this is my personal star rating. It has nothing to do with any other coffee in the world and it doesn't have anything to do with any other star ratings in the world. This is how I taste the coffee in the moment and I tell you what it's like. Yeah, yep, but on this episode, we are going to be doing a second sip test. Yes, people, I will be doing a pour over and that will determine whether this is a four star rated coffee or maybe it's going to grow. Maybe it's going to be better with the pour over. Maybe it's going to give more life to this coffee and it's going to be something that I absolutely love. So stick around for that. The double sip test. <laughs> All right, let's get into the grind test, people. So I'll be using my Burr grinder for this portion right here. This is actually a phenomenal grinder. It's not the best out there, but it does its job, and it has been a workhorse for several years now, and I give it so much credit and praise. It makes a very even grind when you have good beans. So that's what we're looking for right here. How well do these beans break down? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. See how uniform that is? They're not, there's not a lot of jagged edges. There's not a lot of random sizes. It's all relatively uniform. And believe it or not, if you put less quality beans into that grinder, it can make them kind of jagged and shard and just broken. And it's not pretty, people. All right, let's get the kettle a brewing, people. A brewing? No, let's get the kettle a boiling. <laughs> So we can get a brewing. That's what I meant to say. All right. So you want your water for pour over to be about 185 to 190. That's going to give you the best pour over out there. Any hotter, it's going to scold those grounds. All right. We got our coffee gator pour over maker machine, people. That is a one ounce scoop right there. I will be putting four ounces in roughly and I will be using 500 milliliters of water. So that is my coffee to water ratio for all of you people out there that are into that kind of thing. Take note. Yeah, this is the cleanest, purest way to make a cup of coffee in, in, turn, in, in my opinion. It's my opinion and I absolutely love this way. I don't do it as much as I used to, but for the reviews, I always come back to this. That way I get a nice, uniform 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour our first pour. So you kinda wanna just soak all the grounds first and let it drip for about 20 to 30 seconds. That is not your first pour, that is just letting it soak and letting it drip through. And then you come back for the first pour and that's gonna tell us a lot about the freshness of these beans, the freshness of everything. That is a nice looking stream right there. I do apologize, it is difficult to film through that glass sometimes. All right, here is the first official pour. Woo, look at that crema-like appearance. That is the frothiness that you want to see and you can tell it's a dark roast by how rich that crema is. Typically, medium roast to lighter roast are gonna give you a very fluffy light color and that is a rich looking stream right there. That is very nice. It's not as rich as I would like, but it's definitely got the color, it's dark. That is definitely looking good. All right, so now you're getting that somewhat cinnamon swirl going. That's typical of a dark roast. You're gonna get the rich darkness in there and that's gonna produce a cup of coffee that is potent, people, woo! All right. Yeah, that is that is definitely a rich looking stream. All right, here we go. Let's get it another pour. Yeah, it's still producing some nice looking frothy crema. Very, very nice. All right, we got my Grand Canyon mug right there. And this is the pour test. All right, so we're looking for a nice rich stream. There you go. Woo! Look at that, wow, that is extremely rich and of course zero settlement in there because the coffee gator filter is absolutely amazing and it does its job like a champion. But that right there looks like a good cup of coffee so far. All right, let's get into the sip test people. I just wanna warn you my awesome toddler is back there and he is unpredictable these days so he may let out a a battle cry at some point but uh <laughs> there's no stopping him Woo! that smells absolutely amazing you want to come and do the camera too okay you're going to sit with daddy you got to be good okay okay here we go okay my toddler has decided he wants to join me in the sip test you look at the camera book Alden, look at the camera. There he is. <laughs> All right, let's get into the sip test, people. Okay. Wow. Woo! That is intense. Holy bejesus. Wow. Still has the smoky bitterness. Still has that sort of like harsh taste. Um, even with the pour over, it's still a little bit harsher than I typically like. Um, and it has like this sort of, um, it has this smoky bitterness that is very reminiscent of the uh, Nespresso of the Philips Super Automatic. It still has that like bitter, smoky um, harshness to it but it also has a little bit of like a nutty taste. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is not my favorite coffee and um, I'm gonna say that if you want a harsh blast in the mouth, sort of like this is coffee, don't get it confused with tea, then this is the one right here. Um, for me personally, it's just, it's harsh and it's not forgiving. It doesn't have any sort of like, this is good quality to it. It's just harsh for harsh sake. No, no, don't, don't touch the microphone. It's just very, very harsh. Um, and it doesn't have that, it doesn't really have that like premium quality to it that I would have liked. It's kind of bland, even though it's extremely harsh. Yeah. Yeah, the pour over does not make it, <laughs> any sweeter, it doesn't make it any better. It's just a aggressive dark roast, um, which is very, very good if you're gonna be adding cream and sugar and you're gonna add all your syrups and whatnot. You're gonna try to make a Starbucks 
coffee, then this is definitely the one to go with. It has a beautiful, rich color to it. It's very vibrant. Um, the aroma is actually very nice, but the, the aftertaste that's in your mouth is just kind of like, it's like, okay, this is, this is, this is good, but it doesn't have that like premium taste to it. It almost has like a, like a, this is not as good of quality as it could be. Um, yeah. So the star rating stays, um, whatever I gave it on the Philips Super Automatic, that is the same here. It almost tastes harsher here, so I would drop it down probably a single point. Um, I don't remember what I gave it prior to this sip test, so um, yeah, definitely not my favorite. For people out there that like a harsh punch in the mouth, this is the one. Buy this one, you will love it. If you're gonna add cream and sugar and all the goodness to it, buy this one. It's going to have enough coffee taste even after you've loaded up with 15 ounces of non-coffee. <laughs> um, you're still gonna taste it, so definitely good. Also, if you're gonna drink this with a black, if you're gonna drink it straight up with a pastry, yeah, if you're gonna drink it with something sweet, then this is definitely the one to go with. I recommend it for that, but personally, I'm not gonna give it that five-star approval. I'm not gonna give it my stamp of, I can't wait to wake up and drink this. I will have this throughout the day as like a break up the norm, uh, just to give like that little punch of, it's very reminiscent of Victor Allen's Dark Roast remember that one on this channel but yeah good but not great quality but not premium buy it if you want harsh kick in the mouth <laughs> all right there you go that's two brothers coffee co hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely click to clack that like button and if you want to join the at home with lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew hit that subscribe button every time i get a subscriber i get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.